In this video I'll show you how to simulate key presses with Python. I'll be using Python 3.5 so if you have any issues make sure you're using Python 3.5. Next we'll use pip to install the pyinput module. To check if pip is set up open cmd and type pip. If no errors appear you're good. If you don't have pip set up you can watch my video of how to set up pip. I'll put the link in the description. Now we can install pyinput by typing pip install pyinput. Watch the output for any significant errors at the end. If all goes well, it will say that pyinput was successfully installed. To test that it was installed correctly, open the python IDLE and execute import pyinput. Now open a new python file and save it somewhere so we can run the script here. Import key and controller from pyinput.keyboard at the top. Make a variable called keyboard and set it to controller. Now using the keyboard variable, we can type keys. Using keyboard.press we can press a key, and using keyboard.release we can release a key. Providing both of these with a character will allow us to type a character. Save, run, and the script will type a character to the console. If our cursor was in a different window, it would type it in that window. To demonstrate this, import time. Now set a delay just before the key press using time.sleep, long enough for you to move to a different window. I'll open notepad and run the script. After the delay, the script has now typed a key and it has appeared in Notepad. Instead of using strings, we can also use the key class to press keys we can't type with strings, for example the Windows key. In keyboard.press and release, put key.cmd and run the script. We can see that the Windows key was pressed and the start menu opened. To get more keys, I have put a link in the description to the documentation linking to the keys. We can also use keyboard.type to type a string longer than one character. This will type all the characters at once. Using loops and delays we can make it look like a sentence is being typed by someone, like in the introduction scene to this video. I recommend a 0.12 second delay between keys to make it look like someone is typing.